Okay, so we've gone back in time, and we're going to try this landing again, because it failed. We almost made it. Almost. But, um, we're going to try again. And something I should probably do before we get in too close. Let's see. I want to... Mm, yes, I want to face this way. Now, we we're actually not too, too far from where we actually wanted to land, which is good. And we're just going to, while we're out in orbit still here, well, not orbit, but out far enough, I'm going to bring this in a little bit. And I'm going to hope that that was enough. Give it a little bit more, because our fuel is more useful when we're farther out than it is once we get started to uh, speed up here. So pulling that in so hopefully we'll land a little closer and we won't have to spend so much fuel uh, once we get a low, little bit lower down. So right now we're still pretty high up so let's just fast forward time until we start actually hitting the atmosphere here because that's when it starts to matter. Um, I do however want to maintain control of which way we're facing. So I'm going to move this up like this. And here we go. Hopefully all goes well. I've already gone and forgotten what height we were actually hitting the atmosphere before. It was 35 or so, I think I determined that we were really starting to actually enter the atmosphere. Let's uh, make sure we're going normal speed. Let's check our map. And still steeper than what I would like, but we really can't avoid it at this point. Uh, it's just what we have to do. But I think we can make it work. I just need to be a little bit more fuel efficient. Yep, starting to light up now. We're hitting the atmosphere. Keep pointed it up here. We're still speeding up, which is not what I'd like to see, but what are you going to do? Let's uh, actually rotate a little bit here. Try to get facing uh, up. Not the view I was hoping for. Want this one. Not a great view to be honest. They're looking straight down. But uh, let's get back out of this view. And there's our target area. We want to land close to this. I'm surprised how uh, correct I got it. Angled like this, actually like we're going over the top of it, which I never expected to do. Uh, we still have a ways before um, we can actually use our parachutes. Putting a little bit of fuel into use and just slowing us down. We have enough to use for this. Keep it about there maybe. We can do this for, I'm going to say about 140 seconds or so. Hopefully by then we'll be able to use our parachutes. I'm actually going to go ahead and pop the first two uh, now. And they didn't deploy. They'll deploy whenever I guess they feel like it. Which is fine. And we're going to bypass this again. Uh, not what I wanted, but what are you going to do? Oh, there goes the parachutes. Quickly slowing down here. Turn our SAS off, actually. Oh, that's not ideal. Um, let me pop this last parachute. Oh, good lord. Okay, this is, um... This is bad. Um, we're coming in at way more of an angle than what I'd like. 
again. Okay, okay. This is better. Okay, this is manageable. Do we have lights on this? I don't know that... Nope, I never put lights on this. Bit of a silly move, I think. I don't even know if we have solar panels. We're pretty far away from where I wanted to be. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. No, what? <sighs> okay, not what I want. Okay, not ideal. Son of a... Huh. I don't know what to do about this, to be quite honest. Um... That's not going to do it. Uh, well, shoot. Corson, go on EVA. See if you can't get us turned up right. I doubt it. Oh, he's going to fall. There we go. Can he push this? <laughs> yeah, right. No, no way. Well, this is currently uh, stuck. They can't actually lift off here, which I didn't actually expect. Um, well, I guess that's a long walk, isn't it? Here, get back in this. I don't think we're gonna be able to flip this thing over too easy. Um, no. If maybe, maybe whenever I get the rover fixed, it'll be able to help flip this thing. Because as it currently stands, uh, this is kind of stuck in this position. It doesn't look like it would take too much to flip this thing over, but... Um, I don't think... Yeah, this guy doesn't have the muscle to do it. Ooh, repack shoot. Oh my god, I didn't know you could do that. That's amazing. You can reuse your shoot. That's so cool. Okay, well, I'm going to begin the long trek over to the rover, and uh, you'll probably see me when I get closer. I don't know how to make these guys run, to be quite honest. I think you can. So, settings? No, I can't look at controls while I'm in the game. So, uh, we continue on. I'm, I'm going to quick save, even though, yeah, I've tipped this thing over. We are physically safely on the ground, so, like I said... Uh, I will catch you whenever we get a little closer. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Corson. I have managed to flip this thing upright. So, that is doable is good to know. I'm going to turn off these other engines. Whichever ones are left on. Here we go. These. Shut down. Shut down.
shut down. I think this one here. Shut down. There we go. So we are flipped up right. But it is going to take us quite some time to get over to there. I'm not sure how I want to go about this. Um, while you're sitting here, you pack this chute. If you can't scoot over here and repack this one. Can you outrun this thing? Just a little bit. Okay, repack this one. There we go. We stopped it. And repack this one. There we go. Let's see if we can't fly this thing a little closer. I know we don't have much fuel. But if we can just get a few kilometers closer. Here. Grab. And board. Nope. Board. There we go. And we want to... I'm a little nervous about doing this. Um... Put these back here. I don't know if that one has been... Okay, let's... This... Throttle down... Uh, I do have to turn these back on manually. I'm thinking maybe I only need... The four middle ones. So let's give that a shot. All activated. Um, do we want to try getting our gear out? I don't know that I want to risk it. Let's let's just try this. Now I'm gonna quick save. This could go really bad, and I, if it does, I'm just gonna walk. It's gonna take well forever, but. Okay. Oh shoot. Son of a gun. No. Okay. Okay, this is um, not ideal, I admit. Um, okay, well, hold there. Well, let's, uh, mm-hmm, that never <laughs> happened. What went wrong? What did I do wrong there? Um, I left my RCS on for one thing turn on the caps lock so I can control a little bit more slowly um, okay try that again wow that was horrible okay you want to have this facing straight up and we want to my controls are wonky this way. I want to go this way. We don't have the fuel to really do this. Let's be honest. Oh, good lord. Um, okay. My game crashed or what? My game has crashed. <laughs> uh, game crash. Report the crash folder names. Uh huh. Okay. Well, uno momento.
Okay, so I've decided to try to drive the rover back for a ways. It's not going to make it. We're going to run out of power, and it's very, very hard to control, as you can see here. Doing all kinds of donuts and spin outs. The steering is almost feels like it's reversed. I've inverted the steering on these wheels. We're going the wrong way thanks to this hill, I think. Um, I've disabled these motors back here. Okay, just go ahead and turn around, why don't you? This way, please. You know, we're going to run out of power way before we get anywhere where we need to be. And I think we got a ways before the sun comes up. So, oh my god, this is so hard to control. We are driving it backwards. Both of our front wheels are the ones that popped, so. This way. I considered locking the steering, but I think it'll still turn. Let's see, lock steering. Lock steering. We just want to go straight. Yeah, I can't steer, and now it's just turning on its own, so. Um, Better to just turn with one wheel? No, not really. Although even with two wheels it's still hard to turn. We're not going the right way. So, even in this situation we're going to have to wait for uh, the sun to come up at this rate. Because we are... Uh, we're about out of power. Okay, well... Back to, uh... We don't have any control of this thing, do we? No. Back to... The other ship, then. Okay, so I just came up with this ridge, and finally I can see the rover from here. Just barely. It's still a ways off. I did learn how to run. Um, just thought I'd mention that. It took me forever. <laughs> it took forever to get over here, though. I have to say, traveling 16 kilometers on foot is not ideal. Um, I, I literally jammed a screwdriver to hold down my W key and set it up to times three speed and watched an entire episode of Top Gear came back and waited for an additional like six seven minutes or something at least so it took literally forever uh, that's the scientific term um, Top Gear made cars uh, they redesigned a car for old people to use which was funny but um, that said, we are finally approaching the rover, and I have learned how to run. So it's going to take a little while longer, actually. These guys don't travel very fast. I might... How much fuel do I have left? I might be able to speed this up by using a little bit of rocketeering to get over there. Not really rocketeering, I guess. But hopefully this will speed us up a little bit. So we can get over there.
but it's just taken forever <laughs> to get over here. Oh, 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 am I going to clip? No, still good. I don't want to use too, too much. Uh, no, that was close. If it gets down to 30, I'm going to cut us off, and we're just going to crash and skid there. <laughs> Luckily, these guys don't seem to take fall damage too much. Like this. There we go. We'll just slide a little ways. And as you can see, we've already traveled 15.4 kilometers. And uh, we still have another... Here, let's put this thing up so we can run. You can only run whenever you don't have that out. In case you don't know how to run, uh, you just hold shift without your little thruster things on. And uh, you still run very slowly, but it's faster than normal. We'll probably do a little bit of a cut here so you don't have to sit here and watch me um, run this extra 370 m meters. And I'm going to shove this screwdriver back in here and wait myself. Okay, so there you go. After quite literally about an hour and 40 minutes or something at least, here we are. This is actually the first time I've seen how big this rover is compared to uh, one of our Kerbals. And there you go. Let's uh, repair these wheels. Oh, watch out. Never repaired wheels before. It is rolling away now. Um, turn around, please. <laughs> I gotta catch up to it. Repair. There we go. Rover is repaired. Um, of course, now this guy has to walk all the way back. Um, but I think I have an idea for that. Let me quickly jump into this, though, which I thought I left its brakes on. I obviously did not. Let's see how this thing actually controls now. Um, unlock the steering. Or, hmm, how do we want this thing to be controlled? Unlock steering. Maybe lock the back steering. And have all the motors running here. Let's try that. Let's undo the brakes and let's see how this thing actually controls. Um... Am I... I think I might have designed this thing backwards. Uh, invert steering. Invert steering. Okay. Let's... I don't know where I'm actually going to be heading here. Let me check my map. And see which way I should probably go. Which way is most interesting, do I think? It'd be kind of cool if you could set waypoints somehow, but I don't think you can. Let's see about... I'm really sorry about that. It hasn't done that in literally hours. I took a break and it just decided to do that, so I'm really sorry about that. It's going to rain, by the way. Um, let's see about maybe going... Mm, I'm thinking this crater looks interesting here. It's, it's pretty far away. It's north, so let's just head north. We'll figure out. Um, let's get out of our map. Wow, we're really cruising. Um, we are not heading north, I don't think. Whoa! <gasps> Son of a... What just happened? I just wanted to stop. How what uh, how How did that happen? Is this is this even repairable? I I honestly I doubt it. I 
I cannot believe I just flipped that thing like that. I made it, what, 600 meters? And then crashed it? Oh, stop. Stop. We're going too fast. We're passing. <laughs> oh, good lord. Get up. Oh, oh, come Come on. Come on. Stop. Stop. Oh, good lord. That was incredibly inefficient. Let's just put that up. I can repair the wheels, which does nothing. Um, I have no interaction with anything else, though. So. Oh, can I? There's no way I can flip this. <laughs> Come on, push it. I can push it around, oddly enough, which I'm feeling is pretty impractical. If I could just flip it. Flip it. Come on. Okay. We'll be right back. Oh look, the rover. It's been repaired. Okay, so... We're just gonna pretend that last incident never happened. I'm gonna switch over to this the brakes for a second and figure out which way north is and also get my gears and junk set up. Oh, this way it's the forward direction. Oh. I do want to point out I have built this backwards. I'm pressing forward and we go this way. I decide I should point that out. So I am driving this thing backwards. Um, we want to unlock steering unlock steering. Let's just steer with all wheels, even though it's probably a horrible idea. Use all our motors. And invert the steering. Invert steering. Does that, uh, does that make sense? Why is this one spinning so fast? Okay, we want to go... Not... I'm not really sure which way north is, to be quite honest. Um, the thing is moving, and I'm not... I'm just not sure. Let's see. Let's check our map. Right, fast, and... Okay, so this would be to our west. So, map out. That's to our west. North is that way. Don't flip, for God's sake. Don't spin out either. Let's go. Let's try to head north for a little ways and see if we can't have any success in just doing that. Let's keep up with our electric charge. Which we are using more power than we're gaining right now, which is fine. We need our four-wheel drive. Let's uh, put our caps lock on so we can have more fine-tuned controls. And let's try not to flip this thing. If we can get over this hill, I'll probably turn off two of our wheels to conserve power. Ah, eh, probably won't. We'll be gliding down, ideally, so we won't need to use any power. Yep, that's off over there, which is our west. We're going to leave him there. I have a bit of a plan, eventually, to uh, go recover him. It'll be a while, trust me. Because we do have other stuff to do on Ike. But once we finish exploring just a little bit, see if I can't see any interesting sights, I'm going to uh, call it an episode. If we can just get over this hill... 
We are uh, really picking up the speed, obviously. 2.4 meters a second and slowing. Why is our speed? Why are we stopping? Do not stop. Don't tell me we're going to spin out up here. Surely you have better traction than this. Come on. There you go. Seven. Come on. There we go. Seven. Oh, no. Spinning. It's, this isn't a very steep hill. This is a sad, sad craft. There we go. Picking up speed. Whew. Traction is a difficult thing on these other planets. Whoa. It's like ice skating. But it's not nearly as bad as Menmus, I'll give it that. Okay, picking up speed. And it, this, this is one of those hills that just seems to go on forever. Not ideal. Well, I don't want to spin out. Zooming out a little bit here to see if we can't see any interesting uh, features. And really it just looks like we're heading towards a big mountainy hill thing. Which we're not going to have the energy. It doesn't look like to even get over. Although zooming out is probably a horrible idea. Or, yeah, we've spun around. That's what I was afraid of. Oh! Oh, come on. Come on. Straighten up. We want to go up. Oh. Yeah, I have a plan to hopefully solve this uh, issue with traveling around. Maybe. I hope. That's for a later episode. Stay straight. Straight. Just trying to see how far anything is and it's ooh that is a nice crater up there I think that's what I was wanting to head towards it's gonna be a while for us to get there I think though we're ways off and we're gonna run out of power far before we ever get up there so I think I'll play with the uh, maneuvering this up there in between recordings and while, while I'm doing other stuff and eventually I'll just show you up there because this is very, very slow going, going up this mountain. If we were going down, I'm sure we'd pick up all kinds of speed. We've only traveled 600 meters. This is about when I flipped last time. Assuming I was ever admitting I flipped in the first place. So I think that's about where we're going to get on this little venture. And we're still... Yeah, that, that's all she wrote for now. So we just gotta wait to charge back up. Let's zoom out here. Let's see how much farther we got. We're not even halfway there. I'll get there eventually, but that is an interesting crater there. It's a little darker. It looks like it's gonna be quite a dip though. We're gonna probably ne if we go inside, we'll never. I don't think we'll ever get back out. But uh, we'll maybe back on this side. But that's beyond the point. I think this is where I'm going to call it for now. Uh, it's been fairly successful. Um, I would have called it more successful if this had landed maybe like within this range of it as opposed to being three times farther away uh, because it was a long, long walk to get up here. And we now have to rescue this guy at some point or have him walk all the way back. Um, I kind of wish if I could go back and redesign this but keep it basically the same. Something I would have added would be maybe a ladder or something to maybe have one of these guys come on and like hold on to to travel around on. Um, it wouldn't have been, I guess, probably not very efficient, but I think it would have been better. Uh, that way I could have them both move back at the same time. But uh, that said, I think this is where I'm going to call it for now. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next time when we head to Ike and to drop off our crew and a satellite there. 
So until then, I will see you next time.